Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of events, updates, and beautiful things happening within the Blender community, Blender Foundation, and also Blender Zen App. And this week, we do have a couple of cool things. Starting off, Blender 2.93 is now in beta and it's quite interesting to see that Blender 3.0 Alpha is now here. New set of, you know, point series is coming and uh, it's very, very interesting to see that we are now done with all of the things that deals with the two points. So 3.0 is coming and it is quite interesting interesting so in case you're working with windows mac or linux you'll be able to get access to this and work with it so what is new in 3.0 right now there's literally nothing new with 3.0 so if you actually go ahead and download this you would not see anything so firing this up you would notice that you know we just have the basic 3.0 nothing is new there is literal literally nothing is new it's just the same good old blender 2.93 with a brand new name slapped on top of it no but wait there is actually something that is new with this one so the new thing here is if you go over to the reference you would notice that we have something that deals with a pipeline and assets so clicking this you would see a brand new asset browser page so this same asset browser page was available the very day and the very minute the 2.93 was in beta and we kind of contemplated whether it was going to be coming whether it wasn't going to be coming because in the 2.93 beta we were not able to see the asset browser so it kind of means that 3.0 will be shipping with the asset browser and of course this is quite interesting and jumping right back into 3.90 for those who like to see the asset browser how you can get this going is by simply clicking on the editor type of choice go right over here and you notice you have the asset browser and we've already talked about how you can work with this asset browser and uh, how you can actually mark things as assets and how to do that just in case you have no idea is if you have a simple object like this you can always just right click and go right here where you have your id data and mark them as asset let's actually make a very tiny modification to this one so that you guys can see so for this i'm gonna just you know go with a good old-fashioned box like that and uh, we will press the tab key let's do that one more time press A on the keyboard and bevel this, roll that bevel, press the tab key and lock this in position. All right, so let's say this is what you've made. You can always select this, right click, go right over to your ID data and mark as asset. And right now you notice you have this as asset. So we've already talked about how you can, you know, work with these things and how you can do some very cool stuff with it. And right now this is like the only new thing that is currently available with the 3.0 and of course we did think that this was going to be coming with the 2.93 but unfortunately this is not going to be coming so moving forward 2.93 does have a couple of things up its sleeve and moving forward there's already a schedule when this is going to be announced and also released so in case you want to read up and you want to follow up on the timetable that deals with the blender 3.0 release period or maybe the beacon period i'm going to put this link in the description so that you can check it out and you can see the phases the description the start date and also the branch so blender 3.0 will be shipping sometime in august actually august the 25th okay that is one day before my birthday so i don't know probably they keep it a delay one more day you know give me a happy birthday present and that would be cool so august the 25th is the speculated time for blender 3.0 to be announced and with that said let's dive over and talk about some of the things that is now available for blender 2.93 the beta so we've already talked about blender 2.93 the beta but i did figure out that there is actually something missing and if you've not seen this before this is the brand new splat screen a huge shout out to erindale for making this possible an amazing artist i'm gonna put a link in the description that will take you over to his gumroad so that you can see some cool things that he has so I did notice something all right so what I noticed is if you press zero on your keyboard and you switch over to your camera as our last week within the alpha we did see that there was a brand new camera lock and we can't see that anymore that is missing and uh, these things are also missing as well hopefully we're going to see this and something which we already talked about which is now here is a brand new geometry node tab and that is also something that we get to see in the 3.0 there's a brand new geometry node tab as well so if you want to work with this you can and um, we can also see that we have the spreadsheet which is pretty nice so basically it's just the same good old fashion things that we've already had before that we're getting pretty much nothing really new that we're having this time there's also something else that i kind of wish we will be seeing this period which we are also not going to be seeing anytime soon and that also deals with something that has been teased a very very long time ago so what is this so if i actually apply this right now and switch over to our sculpting and drag this out because we don't have the icons anymore and we go right here and switch over to vertus the vertus colors are not coming so the painting tool I can't seem to find that. So I sort of missed telling you guys during the announcement, but I still can't find this right now. 
and uh, hopefully this might be shipping with 3.0 so these are like the things that i have kind of spotted out that probably will not be coming everything that has to do with grease pencil that was teased out before now they all will be coming and uh, if you also go over to the pipeline assets and io you would notice it's an empty page and that it simply means there's nothing coming to that part so all of the things that were teased for the grease pencil right now they are available and also all of the things that was also teased for the geometry node they are also available and speaking about the geometry node there's actually some very nice cool stuff that is now here so for the geometry node for anyone who is working with this we now have a couple of new nodes so let's go ahead and let's actually switch this back to this part you know old habits so uh let's switch back here and click on brand new so that we have that let's take a look at some of the nodes that is now available for the geometry node within the geometry node there is now a brand new bounding box so if i hold down shift and tap a and actually search here and let's see if we have that so there's a brand new bounding box node so i might actually go ahead and do a full video about this one there is also some very cool there's a brand new bounding box mode so right now if you would like to actually use this as a bounding box of course you can throw this right here and you can see that bounding box and of course for those who would also want to see some more updates that is currently coming to the beta since you know the beta is now in its final final period you know the cleanup stage is what they're doing right now you may want to take a look at the link in the description that might bring you right over here and you can also take a look right here so where is that you'd also notice that in terms of rendering you can now render with persistent data so this would actually make your render time faster and uh, it is pretty nice to see so with all this thing said let's go ahead and talk about some of the cool things that have been happening within the community so within the community right now there are some very cool add-ons that i would suggest that you guys take a look at so there's an open beta for anyone who wants to work with the scatter add-on i'm gonna put a link in the description that will bring you right over here and of course you can download the scatter add-on itself and you can also download the pack and uh, you would also notice that dorian is currently updating this as quick as he can just to make sure that you guys get up to speed with it right now it is in its second update so you can see that here and of course you can download this and start working with it and for those who would probably you know you want to get the scatter add-on you can also get the full version of the scatter add-on right here but if you like to test it before you purchase it this is a good opportunity for you to get the open beta version which is totally free you can grab this and work with it and while we talk about free things lump has also created a brand new free add-on this is known as mean max mean max is a pretty cool add-on for those who like to, to mix up materials you want to play with them directly in blender you don't want to spend so much time kind of you know finding how to arrange these things this is a free add-on you can also get this and of course if you don't know who lump is lump is the same creator of the kami hair so we've already talked about the kami hair before it's a very free nice anime style hair creator and it's very very interesting to work with so we've already looked at this one and if you're feeling excited about it you want to grab it you can also go ahead and grab this one and meanwhile we also did get a very cool update with the folks at cgps so the folks at cgps they also made this very nice blender scene available so with the candy scene open right here if we simply run through and hit the render button we would get some very cool rendering all right so you can take a look at the render see what it looks like this simply highlights a couple of things right now we have our shader compiling so we're just going to go through and allow this one compile so you can see very lovely scene one thing which i would suggest is if you want to get this scene and you're already running blender 2.92 simply run this with blender 2.92 so i tried running this particular scene with blender 2.93 for several periods and uh, the beta version just simply crashes and i have no idea why i also tried running this with blender 2.93 and of course it crashed as well so anyone who wants to test the scenes out you know you want to use this you want to see all of the beautiful things that was done with this and i have no idea if we're capturing the whole essence of the depth of field since this was targeted for blender 2.93 but of course this is a beautiful scene to actually look at you can simply grab it test it take a look at the shading see how this was shaded so pretty cool stuff right here of course a huge shout out to the guys of cgps for making this possible and to think about this that this is an ev scene not even cycles and for those who would like to see some more details about this grab this scene explore test out all of the procedural things that was done and you can actually learn a thing or two from here meanwhile the folks at luxcore so luxcore renderer has also released a brand new version a very free version of their blender luxcore render so if you like to get this one as well you can actually go over here and download it i've been considering making a demo or you know a walkthrough for this one for anyone who would like to see how 
the blend lock score actually works so they just released the 2.5 recently and uh, this is very very nice of course if you want to see some of the things that this is capable of doing you can go over to the gallery and you can see some very cool stuff if you want to explore this renderer you can actually go ahead and get it it's an open source physical based renderer and it's available for both windows mac and also linux and that's about it so pretty cool stuff right here the folks at blender foundation are also looking for you know a 3d generalist all right we've talked about this one right now they're being a bit more specific they need someone who has an extensive experience in creation of high quality images so it's not just anyone right now they need someone with an extensive experience so you actually need to dust your portfolio a little bit thicker before you can apply for this one and they are also looking at persons that have at least five years working experience with blender and probably one to five years production experience with things like 3d lighting and compositing and you need to have at least a very good idea of how the effect system works so these are some uh, very cool technical skills that you need to have some personal skills include you know interpersonal communication skills and you need to also be a bit more organized and know how to communicate back and forth in terms of hierarchy or production chain so this is more like it for those who are excited about the things that we've talked about you want to get the free scatter add-on which is now in open beta you can go ahead and knock yourself out get that if you want to get the mean max or you want to get the cami or probably you want to start doing some cooler renders with the lock score render for blender right now you can get this and if you like to test these things out you can download them and test it and that's about it of course i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with your tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace